Bonjour mes cobra and welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX. I am Track Light Tamer. Enough front say, let's do a fun tricky tricker, but not fully trickly snickly. We're just gonna have fun jumping up here with my Track Light Tamer self, even though I have already made that point on front say a little bit. So last time we fought Chaos 6 at the Egg Carrier and did Skydeck and all that. A lot of egg carrier related things, and then Eggman was like, I don't like you, Sonic. And then Sonic was like, I don't like you either, Eggman. And then they both got concussions, jumping all the way down to this jungly area of mystic ruins, like this. And that level over there is now opened up for us, so I say we should go on over and do that there level, if I can reach myself, just kind of go along the outskirts like this, and enter this entryway like this, woo. Let's do a skirpity derp, not flirpily, schnurpily derp. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's time for Sonic Lost World Action Stage. Ha ha ha. The namesake of the games. Never really pay much attention, mind, to those weird Leviathan robots. I don't even know why I think of the word Leviathan when I see them. There's a Chaos Million. There's probably a bunch of weird names for these enemies that are quite clever, but go overlooked beyond such things as uh, Rotobug, Moto Caterkiller, as other things, as compared to other enemies like, you know, Goomba, Koopa Troopa. Whoa, the music's pretty fun here as we go in this cylindrical thing with the ah uh, part of the music. Okay. The reason different sound effects are heard in certain things like, such as Sonic's ready, go, etc. Ready, go! It's because I have part of the thing enabled to make it more Dreamcast sounding. So there's another sound effect I'm anticipating for a little bit later on, while this thing opens up, that I can relay the non Dreamcast related sound for. Okay, we'll hit these three hidden switches here in this water temple with. Not Morphe or Morpha, but Hydras from Shadow of the Colossus around here. Make sure I'm hitting everything properly. Make sure we hit all of the switches. Let's try that! No, not a good idea. I was trying to be stylish in how I was uh, composing myself. Hmm. Got to retread a little bit in the Copperhead Snakey Mouth and got to make sure everything's properified. Get enough rings to suffice. Enough Shadow of the Colossus joking. We have to find different vantage points. See if my camera will cooperate with me. Gorsh. Let's uh, do that, I guess. Illuminate the blue. It's only slightly less blue for the teal one that is going to likely be next if we were to let the next level of thing match up with me. Oh uh, man, we gotta. White long tomp for that thing. Looks like we can get ourselves a mirror shield and an extra life over there, but we don't need to spend the time doing that, even though I could have gotten that one there, but, you know, focusing on keeping things moving forward. Kind of a lengthy level as we sort of kind of approach Sonic's endgame. We're just uh, waiting for a nice little story thing to happen, to shed some light on the story related stuff going on in the more mythical side of things. Uh, did I take the long way around for this? As we submerge underwater and get ready not to go boom, wham, 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 wham. Oh man, I poorly timed again and can't get enough mobility. Is this gonna work for me? Working enough. Let's try that. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, water's already high enough, so let me just do that. I don't know if I went too wrong, but we have that thing I'm taken care of. Karen of. Oh no, not Karen. Now we gotta wait to get over there. But enjoy the music. I guess I'm gonna wait from here. It makes sense to do so. Yeah, I thought I was gonna have to edit stuff, but I didn't. Just gotta get over there. Submerge and unmurdify yourself. Unmurdify? Uh, probably bad. What is happening? I have to bring the water down, but I'm gonna try my best to raise me up and hopefully not drown. Eh, water well comes down just to compensate, but no drowning has happened. Haven't even got to hear the sound effect for it all yet. Wait for another pass while you're not on the water. Use up the little time to not do your drowning. As we get to the next section of the music and the very nice background. Let's 
pause and admire, because we don't really get too much time to see that. Not like we're strapped for time on anything, just gotta enjoy the world in which we're exploring. This lost world. I've only barely played a few levels into Lost World. I think I might have even played more of the 3DS version than the Wii U version, but either, either still even so. Not much of either has been played. Haven't beaten either of them, or really beaten World 2 on either. If I even have gone too much into World 2 on either version. Not that they were unfun. We got some mirror puzzles to do. Got some mirror never lies. Look into the mirror or it never lies. Oh, that was poor timing with the incline sloping. And it's gonna bring us all the way back here. Blah. We could have fun doing that, but we're gonna have fun doing the same thing. The hua sound effect sounds like Yoshi in Mario 64 DS doing his punchy stunches. Instead of being a little too risky, I'm being a little less too risky by doing that. Get ready for Risky's Revenge. All these moving arrows, you think that they would sit together and we can treat them like a platform. They're not even fully going their path. I was kind of worried I wasn't going to match up there, but I did. And here we go with the way, 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 way. Hey, this is kind of brought back an adventure too for a slightly different situation. And a little bit of weird boarding stuff going on. Eh, there's something down there, but it's not much of a concern for me. Let the flaming walls guide you and get ready for something a little jonesy. I'm jonesing for a freaking fast rock. Is it going to replace stuff? Um, hello? What the heck is going on? Dare I Frenchifyingly say? Yeah. <laughs> Sudden shift in perspective is a little weird. Come on, is he gonna make me miss any jumps? At least get some rings to catch up. At least it does stuff physically nicely for you. Missing all these mirror shields, but getting plenty of rings. Gotta be a little more staunchy with your usage of stuff for the later parts. We're about to get to a bigger part of the mission here. Any enemies in here? Probably a Chaos Million, whatever it's called. I don't know, I could be doing text on screen for stuff. And here's the big crux of this mission. As we use the switch to get rhythm ready. Yeah, get rhythm ready. I don't know what I'm saying. Ooh, I hit you and you've done the damage to me. It's like a double knockout Pokemon thing. But yeah, once we hit the switch, we can do even more Twilight Princess style stuff. It's like a combination of Ocarina of Time with the water level stuff. I mean, obviously Twilight Princess is kind of similar. <laughs> if anything, Twilight Princess copies from this game more than Sonic Adventure, even though this is Sonic Adventure that we're playing in the DX mode. And Ocarina of Time is the game that I meant to say. So, as things are now, the way I see it, I need to get some rings and not mess up. Hello, my baby. Hello, my Sonic. Hello, my mystery ring box. They gave me 20, you know, it's more of a capsule than a box. Don't get too caught up in your shapes. Sequence breaky, except not fully. It just felt fun to do that. Actually, I might have sequence broken a little bit. Oh man, kind of getting Mario 64 testing. At least give me a ring for safety and do the blast into you. I'm always doing this take damage but do damage thing. Gotta be more prepared if I want to successfully do the collect X amount of rings, even though it seems to be pretty consistently 50 rings for any sort of mission like this. Okay, that's not the traversable thing, but this is. Alright, I'm gonna try a little something though, however risky it may be. Uh, yeah. Very looking risky it is. Yeah, try that, just to have fun with the physicality of it all. Of it all, Louisville tall, Evo tall. Uh, probably don't wanna do that this time, just wanna pop right on in here and do that. Alright, we're in the end game now, kind of. And get ready for some light speed dashery. Pretty much required, unless you want to launch yourself with a very nice spingle dingle. Yes. yes! We have reached the end of the room, not even a capsule to hit. There were like hieroglyphs with hedgehogs, but I didn't pay attention or something. But yeah, do a nice little arm poppery yeah, to bad. get yourself all stretched out and say that this adventure was not too bad. Get yourself 22. Ooh, what do we got? Na, na, na. Cutscene time with the ball of light and drippy droppy water. Hope it's nothing threatening. 
Whoa, what's this? More like, oh, whoa, what's this? A mural. Muriel? No, mural. This could be a portrait of chaos. Very serpent time with what looks like some kind of siren light on its head. I'm sure it's nothing. Same goes through this. What's this place? Who knows? Where am I? Who knows? This is really weird. The only person who knows what's going on is well, a lot of people if you actually know this game. Let's make it backtracking, but it's not gonna let you backtrack. You could like glitch, but it probably doesn't load any more stuff on the map because it's probably just this that loads. Hmm, that was a good cutscene trigger if I were to get too close to that, so let's go over here. By the Master Emerald, but we thought it was elsewhere without a roof over its head and a lot less fire. La 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 la. Alright, I guess we're gonna see this chaotic chow cutscene with whoever else is involved laying pretty much dead right there. Or maybe they're just conked out. Not much death and destruction, even in a Sanic game. It's gotta be rated E somehow. Why? Why did this have to happen? Why, 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 why? I see all these questions, man. Or woman. It's terrible. I must stop this now. What's the shouting about? Why am I so far back? Hmm. That's what you call an uncut gem there. What was that all about? I don't think I'm dreaming here. This isn't Sonic Dreams Collection. Hmm? Ooh. Eggmanu or Robotonic. Eggman! The piano of dread is happening. What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good! I'm sure we will, Sonic. I'm quite sure we will, but I don't know if we want to give too much full chase for the time being. Oh wow, oh, let's reach the top of that. Let's see what's going on. Uh, a lot of lights and something in the spot that I felt like would have something for it. Uh, you can pretty much go to the end point of Sonic's Adventure by that. Man, it's pretty detailed down there, but... I'm not fully ready for it quite now because, well, I mean, gonna consider that part the Sonic finale once we get to it, but I wanna do maybe a little bit of backtracking, just having fun on this adventure field even though I could just go to the title screen and get all trial tastic. But yeah, I just wanna fill in some levels as Sonic. I think I'll start with Casinopolis. Yeah! And reach the rooftop of the canopy. <laughs> Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Boink! Not a full-on matchup, but we hit the ground running again. Quick entry to the casino right here. It's almost nighttime enough for us to go on in. So, what's going to be the next little thing? Something kind of challenging in its own right. 50 rings to destroy the capsule. How will I ever be able to do that? So here we go, slot and pinball. I guess I'll... Do some Nights into Dream stuff again, even though this isn't the thing right here. Get them confused because slot is the Sonic, but I just saw the 777 and maybe cards above it that made me think it was the Nights related thing. But yeah, don't really see too much new stuff around here, just kind of shaking the screen around. I think kind of the trick to go into the sewer or underground trashy area, so to speak, that has a lot of rings in its own right is to pretty much go in before you reach the, I guess, 200 ring point, maybe? Maybe just a little bit after 100. I've done it in practice. It's just good for your timing, especially with the fact that there is a time-related mission that you don't want to spend the whole time doing minigames for your rings. Ooh, almost oofed the Eggman, even though it would probably give me rings. Then I didn't oof it there. Final Eggman, are you gonna penalize the ties me? 50 rings, at least it wasn't everything. And I didn't get spikled spickled like I would in more 2D Sonic games. Ah uh, yeah, with the music happening I can just imagine a big band jamming out right by me, doing different poses with the trumpeteers and other brass instrument users. 
So yeah, here we are in the trashy area. Pretty safe to do. Don't need to worry about doing the, whatchamacallit, homing attack on the enemies when there's a thing happening. <laughs> a lot of parrots for me. Maybe get the purple thing, which is a mole, and the green bunny rabbit is indeed a kangaroo. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of missing out on rings, but the most you can get is around a spot like this, even if you do miss out on an initial run for it. And sure, why not? Let's slot in two dreams, even though it's cars in two dreams with what's going on. Did a little bit of research when I was editing the episode in which this has happened, which was what, episode two? <laughs> in which of this has happened? I don't know. I sounded weird doing that. But let's see if I can go down to the lower part, which I believe has more stuff for me that I don't think I even really showed off. Not on a kind, ton straight here. And here we are in the next little section that has indeed be opened, be opened. Didn't get to stick around here long, but uh, yeah, I think I did show it off here before, be here before, instead of being weird with the words. Here's Nightseed friend again, almost said dude, but it's not a dude because it's a manifestation of multiple people and their subconscious, so can't really be assigned one particular genre. So yeah, let's finish our ring collection, probably try to get right at 400 and then top things off for the 50 we need because obviously anything else would be taken for the level gimmick itself. And here we are with our 403 rings not found, singular ring to put me at 404, PNF. Oh man, I do kind of do want to LP Pikmin 3 but I want to get a gamepad capture deal, but that's gonna be hard to do, especially with the fact that I almost forgot to get my extra 50 rings for the objective. Bash the slot machine, get as much as you can, even though they mostly all disappear before you even get your chunks. As jazzy and big bandy as this music is, I've come to make a connection. If it really were such nighttimey as it is in a different location, it would be all aroo-tastic and there would be more nightmarish enemies to defeat with did it did it did it do do fall right on out with our 169 wasn't even paying attention to the number being as it is the supposed number I don't supposedly like I don't know I haven't made the decision about myself didn't want to get shaken down again for my rings add as much more to the vault as you wish I don't know the animal setup I have. Oh man, 10 minutes and yeah, all bad. that stuff. Yeah, not bad. We gotta do about 5 minutes, 6 seconds better for the remaining mission of this, because you gotta do it within 5 minutes. But you want to be strategic enough and try to stay around below 200 so you can go into the trashy location again. Hello. Where are you putting me? Um, don't screw me out. Okay, there we go. I was kind of worried there. Kind of eating away my time. Then without losing your rings, you want to get over here. Might even want to chill around in this room if you want to actually get your rings set up. Might even forcefully allow it to knock me down without going in there. Come on, just keep and bounce myself out there and get into location that we get better rings. I'm not liking the situation. This might not even be the best room to deal with this, but yeah. Let's try to get to a, another location. Might be speeding up a little more because... This stuff isn't being too productive. Just gotta watch my time more than anything. Then when you're dashing through one of these little tunnely hallways, just gotta hope for stuff that'll help you out well enough. Don't really know the repercussions of all the different locations, but get as much as you can. I mean, ideally you want to get to the 400 point before you reach here, so um, it might not be going super hotly for me right here though, so I guess I'll build up my stuff and maybe try to do better, or in fact, just to do this when I'm at, um, zero rings. Might just give it another run through the Sonic slots deal. Here we go, the next part of it. I think you do want to reach the upper area so you can get all the things. Tails is helping me out here more than anything, 139. Might still want to trudge around this room and see if we can get maybe to 300, because I did do a reset. It might be poor for my time. Let's hope to... Find a good location, drop down, and not use up your time too much fully. Well, I hit the 400 ring point, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it within 10 seconds. Yeah, should have gotten a little bit more ringage in the pathy trashy location. Been a bit more speedy and not have to do a secondary run through the Sonic Spinball Pinball deal. 
but I'll take what I have. Maybe cash in on my animals, if anything. Well, I mean, I can't really do too much with them what I have right now. You know, I could just drop them off. You know what? It is spilling everything over, so I think I will drop them off at the Chow Garden. So maybe see you there or something. Here I am, once again. I'm torn into tailos. Can't deny it, can't pretend. I thought you were the one getting all of these chows. And such as the ones like these are here. Uh, hmm, I could bounce you out with more macaw and more tailos swallow. Alright, let's see if I can get this thing just right and proper. You got some run to your name. Uh, didn't do that right. Set it down. Yeah, let's use the other button. Nope, I didn't get to use that properly. Neither thing was done properly. Nearing that's a level up sound. We don't get to hear it much because the HUD seems to disappear. Oh, don't you go dozing off on me. There we go. Keep everything flowing. Ooh, you're reacting. Ooh, look at that. You look a little spooky, chowy. That's what you do. I guess it's smart enough. I mean, you are kind of developing. And, well, if you want to get rid of the eggshell on head, do that. <laughs> Sorry to get you all busy, Lisa, but that's just part of the territory. Put it on back with you. Looks pretty cool. A peacock with partial egginess. Like some kind of Pokemon. So, I guess the way things work is if a stat is taken away, it doesn't actually level down, just goes to the bottom set of the level up. It's like basically unleveling up a Pokemon with the rare candy, like reverse rare candy, I guess, if you were to make some sort of comparison, but you don't unlevel. If I'm making any sort of sense. Why are you so bratty? Get fed. I think that might also be the source of a sound effect. I think it's like farting or lion roaring, but I think it might just be hunger. Enjoying your little singing and humming going on over there. Already all gets the oreg. Let's see if it's gonna match up well. Oh yeah. Gold little merciful spooky Pac-Man ghost. Yo, have you guys been good? What are you doing? Are you being intelligent? Oh, you are actively trying to take the fruit from me. Okay. Hopping out of this place all shaky-like for not too long from the 400 point. Is it even going to take me out to where I can get another chance to the stuff? I'm mean, bringing me over here, so I guess I am doing well enough. I almost took damage, but I don't want to be too uncareful. Just scrounge all the rings I can. A clear coast to victory from this point. It seems like I was invincible for a second, but I think it ran out at that time. Hey, I have a shield. You shouldn't be able to do any damage to me. Just suck the rings and let me not take the damage. Whoa, hello. Yeah, let's not get all glitchy before I get untimed out of it. Where's my perspective? Right here is my perspective. Oh, uh, yeah. So with this, uh, hmm, let's underestimate time or maybe overestimate us being at 23 minutes, so... I think I'll have time to even get Ice Cap taken care of with the capsule. With us at 24 emblems, oh yes. Going dun 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 with the music like that. We are going to go here and get ready for stuff. Oh yeah, woo. I guess it doesn't freeze. Maybe not at all during Sonic's story. Am I macking Sonic's? So yeah, pretty easy. Collect 50 rings and destroy the capsule. Even the time attack challenge isn't too bad. I can actually destroy you. Get some unique things like gorillas and maybe the moles being the purple creatures they are. Not even gonna do way too much. I'm just gonna make my way to the end and do well enough. I should know well enough to where locations are for good things. Are for? No. Just kidding. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, there's like plenty of rings to get, especially once you get to the Twilight Princess Snow Peak Ruins location. Didn't even mean to fall there, and even taking that damage, I should be doing well enough just to recover as much as possible. Who's ya? Yeah, your trick for lots of rings is to go here and get ready to bounce on yonder like this. Didn't even need to get as many rings as I have, but here they are. Again, on their own. If anything, for some purchases at the Blork Market. Hello, okay. Hello, okay. Here's oh man. You need to guide down. yourself on your way with this. I don't know what I'm doing. But here we go. Let's not get crushed down. Whoa! Snowdrift time! But I'm not gonna show too much right now. Secret tunnel! Almost messed up. Yeah, save so much time. 
save all the time you can for time attack stuff even though it's not très difficile. Ooh, okay, no okay sound effect stuff and no animation for that. Just gotta coast yourself as much as possible and get ready to do the langular times. Don't know how much I'm gonna edit around when I actually do the time attack because you kind of have the gist for it if I can actually land on this thing. I think even it is a four minute time attack thing, or maybe it's three minutes. Either way, it's not really too hard to do. There's missions that are harder, like Twinkle Park, and you have to like yeah, do some bad. sequence breaking stuff, at least to my own accordance with it all. Oh man, I don't feel good with that. Now I gotta climb up the ladder again if I want to get back into Ice Cap Zone and do the uh, super time attack mission. So let's just get moving quickly for it. Let's go in the downward direction just to show off the jump pad, but not go too crazily because I just see end of the line there. Oh man, I should restart because I'm wasting daylight. Yeah, look how dark it's about to be. Go! Land on this and get all hoppy. It may seem like you're using up a little bit of time, but you don't do that unless you do that. Alright, now let's not get too trigger happy with your hippin' and the hoppin' and a flippin' and a flappin'. So you don't know what the jazz is all about, even though this isn't a jazzy music location. Let's try to sequence break a little bit to save a little bit of time. Whoa, let's not be too crazy. Try to avoid as much icicle movement. In fact, let's try to do something like that. Eh, eh, eh. Even though it might not have be made much of a difference. I'm going to fall off. In fact, I'm just going to zoom right through it, but I couldn't jump all the way through the past point. Oh no, I have made fatal error, but just restart from here. Not much difference. Icicle crunkling snowhead temple. I'm always glad that that doesn't push me all the way down. All the way up, all the way down, on my breath, laying it out. I don't know why. I'm singing stuff that I remember way back from fifth grade. Here we go with the snow drifting. Might as well keep this in just for the fun of it, because it's always fun. Does this count as its own separate minigame? There is a different aesthetic for stuff. Maybe we'll see it as Tails or some other character, don't you know? It's always mission mode. I can get more emblems for how I do things otherwise, but I'm not going to necessarily sit to all the Sonic related stuff while only within Sonic's mode. Say I'll do a little bit of Tails, maybe blast all the way through the Tails story because it's not quite as long. All the other stories aren't quite as long as Sonic's, but they all add up. Oh, I'm taking an upper path here. Might be helpful, but not really. I mean, it didn't last long for me. Let's try this. Yeah, you don't actually have to go super lowly far, and you didn't line up well enough to do that one there, but let's at least get these little blaster snasters. You never know what you'll see in the paths you take, but yeah, I have plenty of time to work with. Pretty easy to avoid damage from those guys. So pretty much in the 50 ring point, if you have that enough miss, in fact you could probably reach 50 rings by actively sledding around around here, you'll be fine. In fact, all I've been doing around here is in an act of self-preservation more than anything, as in like the resets and weird death-ish things that may have happened. What the heck, that otter is like riding that seal? I'm gonna leave it to that. I mean, they are kind of related. Creatures, except not really, they're just water based and all weird with their yeah, and or sounds four minutes, so I actually did better than I thought. Even if the time limit was three minutes, I would have been failure testing, but I guess not. So, anyway, I was thinking about maybe playing with Chow a little bit more, but no. Until next time on Sonic Adventure DX, where we maybe do a little bit more mission related stuff, maybe not quite everything and then finish Sonic's story, the main part of it, by confronting Dr. Eggman in the final egg area. Do not toast yourself, and remember, it doesn't matter now what happens, I will never give up the physics.